everyone and welcome back to a little bit of a new challenge. I decided to start another challenge as well as the 100 baby challenge just to have a little bit to go between so it doesn't get too boring to watch only the 100 baby challenge. And I really wanted to do this challenge so I am going to be starting the Disney Legacy challenge. I done it before uh, very early in my YouTube career but that uh, was in Sims 3 and it kept on crashing and I just had too many problems with it so I quit that one so I'm starting a new Disney Legacy challenge and I'm obviously starting with Cinderella and We'll be doing this in Sims 4, so I'm not sure what kind of rules there is in Sims 4 because uh, Sims 4 works a little bit different than Sims 3. So obviously, Cinderella has to clean up and do her homework and stuff like that. And uh, for now, I don't think she can do more than just clean up her dishes and maybe the toilets and st stuff. I don't know how much children can do because I normally don't do these kind of challenges. So this is our lovely Cinderella. I had quite a lot of difficulties dressing Cinderella up because I kept wanting to put her in something nice and cute and beautiful because I felt a little bit sad to put her in this. But I felt like this really worked with the challenge. A uh, top that looks kind of dirty and uh, torn up pants that she's using and some pink shoes to break it up and a necklace she has from her mom. And I really feel like she's super gorgeous. Oh, she's such a cutie. And this is her stepsisters. This is Anastasia. Uh, I forgot to tell her her traits. So she's uh, artistic. So uh, I just gave her that for because I couldn't really find something else that worked for her. And I keep getting. And she's neat, so. She is obviously a Cinderella. So, this is her sister, uh, stepsister Anastasia. See, she has a little bit more of a cuter look. She has the purple. Obviously, since that's kind of what Anastasia is all about. At least in the movies, she is the purple one and Drisella is the kind of green-yellowish one, if I remember right. Uh, so she has most of the purple stuff, so she is evil and uh, I forgot to make her their mother, but uh, oh, we'll deal. And this is Drusella, she has green, obviously she has a pink top, but she has the green pants and some necklace and they are more fancy looking, more cuter and she is, I think she is evil as well, yeah she is, is sort of evil, I can't remember now. And this is their mother, Lady Tremaine, she Obviously a sort of classy looking, very high end, and uh, she's lovely and she wants to have all the money in the world. She wants a mansion and have 15 artwork. Okay, well. And obviously I forgot to make these her children because I was a little bit tired and eh, we'll deal. So she is evil, materialistic or uh, she wants money and she's a snob. And 
And she's a young adult because I didn't bother to make her an adult. So that's them and they kind of is annoying me because I really wanted to do the opposite. I wanted to put the, these girlies in something bad and Cinderella in something cute because I really want to do that but I can't really do that because of the challenge. Uh, so, obviously Lady Tremaine is married into Cinderella's family because uh, Cinderella's family, uh, her mother died in a young, when Cinderella was very young and then his father wanted to her to have a mother and married Lady Tremaine and he thought it would be nice to see for Cinderella to have some sisters to play with although he never knew they were mean to her and bothered her and stuff like that and then eventually her dad died as well poor thing so she is currently living with Lady Tremaine and her sisters in her home but in Lady Tremaine's eye this is her home now she owns it and she doesn't like that Cinderella lives with her but she kind of didn't have any choice and she kind of wants to get rid of Cinderella and have her move her have the place for herself with her daughters and stuff so obviously Cinderella has because she's mean she makes Cinderella do all the work in the house and obviously she can cook and stuff so until she's a teen Lady Tremaine has to do some cooking or at least they just going to eat the quick meal so she doesn't have to make anything but when she is a teen she has to do the cooking and everything she can do as a child so I'm going to quickly show you the house because that's quite an extraordinary thing uh, uh, if you could just back up and as you can see, this is quite... Why is the roof showing right now? Ah, the roof is so glitchy for me. Well, if you just ignore the annoying roof, she has a huge mansion, but I just didn't want the game. Kinda... Look, I wanted something made and this is absolutely gorgeous. I have no clue who made this because I installed it for a while ago. But this is so gorgeous. It's so much details. It's quite a lot of stuff here. A uh, pond and some stuff. So this is going to be quite a... Uh, a lot of cleaning to do and I will be removing some of the stuff back in the backyard so we can make a place for Cinderella to stay because we only have 10,000 simoleons to use and let's watch and house so uh, I don't know where the door is so did I? No, I might have to put a door in. Well, at least uh, this is probably kind of um, a basement sort of thing. So this is a workout room where I don't know if anyone will be using that. Maybe. A bathroom. Some decor, I suppose and a pool area, some kind of seating area, a little bit so what I will call a kind of party area where you can have people come and dance and have fun some yeah, I don't know really what that is but some skill building tools some where the computers this kind of looks like a meeting area of some sort and some dining places and a bar there's quite a lot of 
pools in this house and that's really one of my favorite things it's so gorgeous with all the different colors and when we go upstairs uh, where they also have a pool so there's quite a lot of pools in this place some extremely cute decor I really like this and some fountains, some clothing racks, some shoes, a piano, a microphone, living room with a huge TV. <laughs> There's quite a lot of things there. Outside place, um, some dining rooms again, a bathroom, kitchen with a bar as well and some more decor so it's quite a lot of things in this place so it's huge and gorgeous so I'm not sure if this is some kind of art room or something or what this is but it's at least the easel here so you can paint to sell that and earn some money uh, it's gorgeous but I'm not sure what kind of room it is so this is going to be Grisella's room, so this is a bedroom with a bathroom This is going to be Anastasia's room uh, Same thing with the bathroom And this is going to be Lady Tremaine's room because it's the biggest one And it's kind of obvious that she will be using the biggest room And it has three mirrors so she can admire herself from every corner of the place so this is quite an extraordinary huge house and in the first episode we'll be kind of removing, oh, I'm not sure if we can remove that but at least remove some of this stuff so that we can build Cinderella a place she can live. She is not allowed to live in their house, unfortunately, poor little dairy. Um, so I haven't really gone into all the rules because I'm not quite sure what kind of rules there is but I know it's you have to have Cinderella cook and clean and do all the stuff she has to do uh, she has to get A's in school uh, because there's nothing higher than an A uh, she has to meet her fairy godmother she has to obviously get married to her Prince Charming in a move away and have some kids of her own. So uh, she also only have 10,000 simoleons to use to build her own little place so obviously she is I think she is allowed to earn more money with painting and fishing and stuff like that but she has to leave in the weekends I think it's not allowed she's not allowed to leave the house until a weekend and she has to before she leaves do all the cleaning if the house isn't spotless she isn't allowed to go outside so that's going to be a little bit different for me so this is going to be quite a interesting challenge because I never do this in Sims 4 and not sure what kind of limits I have and their job is to just be mean to Cinderella, make sure to make a lot of mess so Cinderella has quite a lot to do and Lady Tremaine is more of a person that will be just sitting home, maybe get to her to work so I don't have to bother with her all the time but we'll see. But I hope you guys will enjoy the challenge, I'm really looking forward to be starting this and I think it's fun. So thank you guys so much for watching this introduction I hope it wasn't too long and I hope I covered everything for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be talking to you guys in the first episode. Bye everyone!